Yo, this is here from Twitter Designs. Today I'm gonna show you how to do the bitmap effect in Photoshop. There is no additional plugin needed, so if you have Photoshop, you can start right away. However, you can download this photo link in the description below. I'll be using it to apply the bitmap effect. So if you really want to follow along, get it and let's go. So guys, open the image in Photoshop and if we look closely at the shadow area of this image, you can see there's some noise in it. Now we don't want that because if we apply the bitmap effect, it won't look good at all. However, this only varies depending on the image that you use. So first thing is go to image, adjustments, curves, and then drag this point here to the right until the output value hits 30. There, and then go to the middle of the graph, click on it, and then create a new point and then just drag it up slightly like this and then hit OK. Now we have successfully got rid of the noise in the shadow. Next step is go to image mode grayscale, hit discard and then go to image mode again and select bitmap. Now in the bitmap pop-up window, there's no specific value we can put for the output. It all depends on the photo that you use, but let me show you guys what I mean. Now let's put 30. And for the method, I'm going to use either half tone screen or diffusion dither. Only these two look good in my opinion, but you can always test the others out if you want to experiment it yourself. Now I'm going to let's go with um, half tone screen. Now in the new window, I'm going to put 100 for the frequency and then set the angle to 45 degree. And for the shape, let's go with cross and then just hit OK. There it is. Now you can see the effect applied to it. It's got that retro Nokia aesthetic, um, which is what we want. Now let me show you guys how it looks if we apply a different value for the pixel output. So let's undo it and then do that again. This time let's go with 15, keep the rest of the settings the same. And there you go. You can see the pixels are bigger. However, you do lose some of the finer details like the eyes here. So it really, it all comes down to your liking. But personally, I do prefer how it looked with the 3D output value. So uh, let me just redo that again. All right, now the next step is going to blow up the resolution because after we've applied the effect, the resolution drops to very, very low. Right now, it's only at 900 pixels, uh, which is very small for shirt design. So what we do now is reverse engineer the whole color mode thing. So I'm going to go to image mode and grayscale, hit OK, and then go to image mode again and select RGB. Next, we're going to blow up the size. So go to image again and select image size, put 300 for the resolution or DPI, and then just drop the width to 4,500 because 9,000 is too big for shared design. For the resample, we're going to go with nearest neighbor hard edges so we don't lose the bitmap details. Um, as you can see, if we set it in automatic, the details look blurry and kind of grayish because uh, we just basically we just blow up the photos and that kind of messes up the resolution. Before I move on, a quick word from today's sponsor, Vado Elements. Vado Elements has a huge library of high quality stock photos, videos, motion graphics, fonts, and so much more. I've tried many sites over the years and nothing comes close to the value you get from Vado Elements. With the 50 million assets available on their site, you can literally search everything you're looking for and filter the results even by colors. What's even better is you get unlimited downloads. So if the asset you found isn't quite working for you, just jump back in and download some more. Click the link below to get 50% off on annual subscription and try it out for yourself. Okay, once you've selected the hard edges for the resample, hit OK and the design is now clear and crisp. Next, you can add color to this effect by using the gradient map layer. Lucky for you, I have created this gradient map presets and you can download it from my store. It is 100% free. Just click the link in the description and get it right away. In return, please like this video to support me back. Alright guys, bonus tip, let me show you guys how you can also apply this effect to fonts and logos. For example, let me create a new file. Um, let's go with a horizontal A4 document and I'm going to use the type tool to add the font of course. 
and then I'm gonna use the font dirty line for this because this effect only works with bold fonts at least in my opinion so I would suggest you stay away from thin cursive fonts uh, but yeah let me rename it to Eden and then fix the kerning a bit Now I'm gonna go to the effects button and add a gradient overlay. Make sure it is black and white there. And then add a stroke on the outside position and then set the size to seven. Final effect is the outer glow, increase the opacity to 50 and the spread to 15. Now I'm gonna do the same thing to apply the bitmap effect again. Let's go with 30 for now and see how it looks. Yeah, definitely need more pixels to it. So let's undo this and let's go with 50 this time. Now, there we go. That is more like it. Let's turn this into RGB and there it is. That is it for today, guys. Hope you find this tutorial useful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I always respond. If you're new, subscribe so you don't miss out on my weekly content. Thanks for watching.